Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we're doing Donkey Kong. Nintendo's Donkey Kong on the ColecoVision. So technically, I guess this is the first Nintendo game I ever played. So there's a trivia question for whenever I become not rich and famous. You can answer that. Anyway, the different skill levels just determine how fast stuff moves and how much, how much you see in a level. It's a typical old difficulty way. It makes you think there's a lot of options. But we're just going to play on the easiest difficulty just to show off the game. Now, Coleco was involved with uh, the making of this game for the Atari, I believe, as well. If not the Atari, it's another version. And that version, which I believe is the Atari 2600, was just an atrocious piece of garbage. Like, it took, it took just awful, awful um, porting of a game to a whole new level. It was a real piece, as my brother would say, of Garbahosa. I'm going to get killed. Oh, thank God. And uh, the thing is that the the rumor is that Coleco went out of their... Get off the ladder, Mario. That, that Coleco went out of their way to purposely screw up the port that badly so their version would look better. All right, get up the... Oh. Get up the ladder. Mario, thank you. <laughs> And there's no transition or nothing. You just get thrown into the next level. They don't let you think about it at all. They just get it on. They didn't waste any time back in the day. Plus, let's face it, you're dealing with a cartridge that's like four kilobytes. It's not a big deal. So anyway, Coleco went out of the way to try to screw things up, apparently. And that's just how they want to do things, evidently. You're dead. Ha <laughs> ha, fireballs. Jumping the fireballs in this version, not easy. You can do it, but it's usually only if they're going to cut down a ladder. And you gotta be careful. Sometimes you'll just, when you're walking across with a hammer, you can just fall down. It's kind of a pain, truth be told. Okay, this is possibly the biggest problem with this version. Whoa, that was close. <laughs> is trying to go up and down ladders. It is a finicky business. You go down, good boy. I could go for the parasol, but I don't want to. And I'm not sure if you can make that shortcut in this version. I don't think so. But... Oh, maybe I'll try it later, see if I can make it work. <laughs> that was terrible. And as you can tell, Mario's legs were made out of, like, glass back in the day, because that fall destroyed him. Alright, you're staying on the bottom like a weird little fireball. I don't mind, it's just weird. The fireball will go out of his way to actually do that for you. What a weird, weird little fireball. Makes him kind of a jork malork. All right, how are we gonna do this? Now, that works a little better. And you'll notice there's no jacks in this version. That makes this a lot easier, except that they added this freaking fireball who can be the biggest pain in the ass because he does not like leaving this area. Like, look at this guy, go, thank you. And sometimes he'll just turn around, so you gotta be ready to retreat at a moment's notice. And you know what, guys? You've now seen all the levels in the game. There's only three levels. I know the arcade version only had four, but in this one, they're just in random order. They don't have any particular set to them as far as I know. I'm sure it's programmed that way, but this is supposed to be the third and final level, and as you saw, we saw it second. Then we saw the elevator stage. Come on, come get some. Who wants some? You? How about you? <laughs> okay, that hammer physically touched him. That's ridiculous. Oh, and he reappears right over there. Really, game? Tisk freaking tisk. Climb a little slower, Mario, why don't you? <laughs> all right. So that's all there is to this version. And other than that, it's just the more difficulty. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll just do a quick run on the... Uh... Nope. I was trying to sneak in there and get that. I'll try to get up there and get the uh, that shortcut. I don't know if it's possible. But... Uh... I'll go on a higher difficulty afterwards and just see if uh, any big difference is for you guys. I don't think there's anything that d big of a difference. Oh, wow, you can make that shortcut. Is he really hanging out with the princess? Or princess, sorry, Pauline? It's Pauline in this version. Would you stop macking on my woman? All right, Mario, go finish this. So you can shortcut that. I was not sure if that was possible. Speaking of shortcuts, there's a glitch in this level. I can't remember where it is, but if you jump at the right spot on the floor, you fall through the through the very bottom on the Coleco, the, their version, and you'll land 
uh, you'll just move to the next level without having to climb to the top. I can't remember why or how it triggers, but my uncle showed it to me all those years ago, and he's the one that had the Coleco. So he's the one to um, credit slash blame for as to why you guys are getting to see this awesomeness. So, you know, if you ever meet my uncle, who I'm not going to name, because, hey, he probably doesn't want to talk to you guys, no offense. So, you know, he's the one to, uh, to credit for this. He's the guy that introed me to a lot of these games. Not all of them, but a damn lot of them. Some of them I actually played outside of his um, realm of combat, as it were. And there's a difference now. It's getting harder. There's four of these little, uh, get up there, fireballs to deal with instead of three. Although when I was a kid, I always thought they were ducks. I mean, they do kind of have a bird sort of shape going on, don't they? There you go. Don't come back up. Good fireball ducky. And I was always a use the hammer in this level type of guy because... It's not a bad idea to kill guys. Sometimes they won't reappear on the same side. Sometimes you'll get lucky and they'll just jerk... I was going to say jerk off, but that's not the what I was looking for. Alright. The reason I just stay on that side is I don't want to get trapped too early by the uh, fireballs of, of Jerkville here. Oh god, this is going to be close. No, 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 no. Okay, go, 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 go. Run, jump. There you go. Always jump the last one because it can help you get over a fireball that's looking for your blood. Alright, how about we... Jump and miss that. Now, how about we just do a quick reset and we'll see where we're at with a harder difficulty. Let's actually try skill level four. Let's see how bad this is. We get less lives for one. Nope, still no luck in getting that shortcut. Uh, it seems he's not throwing barrels. The barrels aren't any faster. He seems to be chucking them at a quicker rate, though. Go down that ladder. Damn. Get up the ladder. Do it for me, Mario. Do it for all the Italian plumbers who never got a chance to save their girlfriend from a monkey. Or just jump into the freaking barrel. Whatever's easier. Is that barrel falling off the screen? That thing was, like, off in space. What the hell? Huh, <laughs> weird. I wish I knew how that jump uh, glitch worked. My uncle never explained it to me. And I doubt he remembers it nowadays. It has been, like, 20-some years. Like, probably, honestly, closing in on... No, I'd say tw it's been, like, 25 years since I've seen him last play a Coleco. So, you know. Take that for what you will. Here we go. So this was... Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, the barrels are just falling off in weird spaces now. I guess they decide they don't have to go all the way since I'm up that high. Is that what is going on here? Interesting. Do we get more fireballs to start or something on this version? Yep, we start right up with four. Oh, God. Oh, I'm in trouble. And that's basically what you got to do. If you get trapped like that, you got to bait them into moving to where you can get them on coming down ladders. And you got to follow the other guys. They are fairly predictable on the Coleco. It's not like the NES where they just could change their mind at a moment's notice and really screw you over. They, they have to somewhat obey the rules here. Oh, I crossed that and broke my own rule. I could be in trouble. So I just got to hang out here and go... Ah, oh, Donkey Kong. It's a nice little version of the game. It's definitely not as smooth as the arcade, obviously. Not as good as some of the later ones. But for when this came out, this was the absolute tops version of this. For in at home. Definitely at home, the best version of this. Let's see if they make this any harder for us. So far, so good. Whoa, hello, fireball. I, got, I think I got credit for jumping the fireball there. Interesting. I didn't actually think that was going to count for it, but all right. Let's uh, just move on with our lives. And now there's two of them up there. Ooh. Making things a little tougher here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yikes. I almost missed that jump, too. So you can kind of get screwed by these guys just a bit. And I fell. And I went on the fireball. I think that's a good way to end if ever I saw it. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Game over.